With every recipe I share, I give you a part of me. This is like my most special stew recipe. It brings me comfort every time and it always tastes like home to me. Anytime I make it, my family is so happy and to be honest, we've been making it back to back to back. If you want to know how to make this, keep watching. My name is MC. Welcome to my kitchen. For this recipe, we only need a few ingredients and they're very vital. We need tomatoes. I'm going to be preparing the tomatoes. We need some pepper, a scotch bonnet, atarodo, and then we need bell pepper, red bell pepper and onion. So I'm just going to be prepping while I tell you the memory this stew creates for me. Every time I make this stew, it takes me back to a time in my childhood where we would gather in Lagos for Christmas. At the time we used to live in Worry, so everybody would travel from their various locations, Port Harcourt, and then come to Lagos. And it was always Christmas time. We would stay with my parents, siblings, and it was always a time of merriment. So all the wives of the brothers, they would come together and make big pot of meals. This too reminds me of the pot of stew they always make and I always looked forward to it and that is why I said this recipe reminds me of home. It also reminds me of the stew I tasted when I first relocated to Lagos and I would visit some bookers. It always had this distinct taste and today I'll show you how to make it. Now what I'm doing is cutting the tomatoes into a pot because I'm going to boil it. I'm cutting it because I like to see what's in my tomatoes. Sometimes there might be worms, sometimes it might be rotten. So I'm just putting onions, pepper and tomatoes in a pot and I will boil it. I'm not adding any water, I'm adding nothing. And as you can see, the water has come to the surface and that's the water from the tomato, that's the juice of the tomato so it will boil down a bit and then i will allow it rest and cool down to prepare this stew also we will need some beef and smoked chicken smoked chicken is very vital for this recipe and i'm adding beef because i just want variety the beef and the chicken is from nat noodle foods and nat noodle foods is a proudly nigerian animal protein foods processing company and they've been around for a while now they have different range of products including beef minced meat gizzard ready to eat chicken and so much more and they are all locally bred I've been using their chicken a lot lately. They have a lot of variety. They have the stew pack, smoked chicken boneless, ready to eat smoked chicken, ready to eat smoked chicken eight pieces. They have individual quick frozen chicken. You've probably seen that in some supermarkets. Whole chicken of different weights and sizes, chicken parts and cuts, gizzard, super eggs, and various cuts of beef. Now I'm going to prep the tomatoes. So it's already warm, it's no longer hot. I'm using a hand blender to just blend everything together and it blends so easily because it's already cooked. And I love this process because you don't need to add water to your tomatoes and this is all the cooking you need to do. But the most important thing is it makes the tomato paste incredibly smooth. And that is the texture we need for this stew. You need this stew to be so smooth. For some reason, I feel if you do it like this, you will get the taste I'm looking for. When I always do it the other way, I do not get the exact taste. So follow my process. Because I want to use beef in this recipe, we're going to have to boil it separately. So typically when I'm just doing smoked chicken stew, it is one of the fastest stews you can make. So like I said earlier, you just boil your tomatoes, then you blend it, and then you just start cooking your stew. Smoked chicken is already ready to cook or ready to eat, so you just put it in the stew. So for now, all we're doing is prepping the beef. I don't put a lot of water in my beef when I'm about to cook it, so I just cover the pot and then I allow it to bring out its own juice. When it's done that and it's almost cooked, I add a bit of water till the beef is done. 
doing it this way will ensure that your beef is very very flavorful on this day while i was cooking oh my goodness the aroma of everything i was making was bringing everybody to the kitchen and they wanted something to eat so i had to bribe with this chicken wing so these are the nut noodle chicken wings these are the ready to eat chicken wings and i love it because it is spicy <laughs> it had a lot of pepper it was really good i loved it so much all you have to do is just pop it in the microwave and then just bring it out and you are ready to eat it that is all it works as a quick meal and I like it because their chicken is fresh. You can tell when you are eating that chicken that it is fresh and the seasoning was just perfect, absolutely perfect. Now that the beef is cooked, I'm just going to fry it in a pan and I like frying beef in my stew because it just tastes more amazing. I also like to put an onion in the oil because it brings a lot of flavor and I learned this from the many years of watching my mom as a caterer and from attending events <laughs> so I know that onions when you're frying beef gives it a lot of flavor so try it if you haven't now this is another vital part of this recipe we are going to bleach the palm oil i did an ayamashe recipe a few weeks back and a lot of people were like sisi can i not make ayamashe without bleached palm oil no you cannot <laughs> it does not taste the same so you need to heat up this palm oil till it changes color i always use medium to high heat and i like to bleach it in a stainless steel pan this oil took me about nine minutes to bleach but that depends on the source of heat that you're using from experience i can tell when the oil is bleached i perceive the familiar aroma of ayamashe in my nose which is why i say you cook with all of your senses once the oil has cooled a bit i'm going to add some onion to it this is the color of the bleached palm oil it's a beautiful golden color and right now as we are frying this onion the aroma already lets you know that we are in another gear another phase of this stew <laughs> at this point i'm bringing back the tomato blend and just pouring it into the pan i'm going to mix everything together and already at this stage you can perceive the beautiful aroma like from upstairs they're asking me what is going on in that kitchen is the food ready but no it's not ready we need to our chicken so i'm adding the noodle smoked chicken and this makes the process easier if i were not using beef this is one of the fastest stews you can make and please use smoked chicken for this recipe if you can find that noodle chicken please use it this chicken you can find on their website i'll put the link on the screen and you can send them a dm on instagram you can call them on the phone they will deliver the same day to you using nut noodle chicken is very convenient and then this cut of beef i love so much because it is boneless and it was so tender when i was eating it see this still hit the spot at this stage i'm just going to let the stew bubble nicely so i don't put it on high heat because if you do that your stew is going to like splatter all over so i reduce the heat to reduce the splattering even though it does splatter a bit if you've been on my channel long enough you know that we use what we use a wide pan for our stews because we want it to fry instead of boiling like if you put it in a small dip pot the cooking process is going to be different so we want this to be fried i'm adding some salt and chicken seasoning at this stage and i didn't add it earlier because we're using smoked chicken sometimes some smoked chicken have flavors in them and i used some of the ready to eat chicken in this which has already been seasoned so i wanted to make sure it was not too salty before adding my seasoning and that is a tip that you have to use if you are using like chicken or beef that has been seasoned or smoked 
this stew didn't take a long time to cook and this is what it looked like at the end of the day it was so delicious it was so velvety smooth just how i wanted it and the napnudo chicken and beef was the perfect marriage and i'm not just saying that because it is a sponsored video i've been using smoked chicken for a long time so it is amazing if you try this recipe please tag me on social media Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere, I would love to see it. Click the like button and subscribe because we have more recipes every week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!